Hi there, this is Andy from Chemex, and today we're going to be installing a security camera inside a chicken coop. And also using Chemex to detect whenever a hen enters the roosting box. The goal is to try to automate the chicken coop as much as possible. Here's our chicken coop. You can see we have an automatic watering system that uses our drip irrigation. We have a feeding system there that they can step on to open up the tray of food. This is the roosting box. And this is where we want to install the camera. I went ahead and put a plexiglass cover on top of it so that we can see through it and see what's happening inside. And then we're going to install the camera right above it so that we can get alerts whenever a chicken enters the coop. And then also know from live video feeds if they've laid an egg. The camera that I'm going to be installing is the SV3C HD Outdoor Camera. It has 1080p resolution and Wi-Fi, which is needed so that I don't have an easy way to run PoE Ethernet to this location. And it's also on this compatible camera, which is open interface standard that will connect easily to Camnet. And finally, it's waterproof, and this area it could get wet. Okay, to get the camera set up, we're going to first go ahead and plug in the power. And then plug in the LAN to our local network. Let you turn on there. Next, we're going to go to the application. And then we'll do add camera and then search the local network. And then there is our camera. We'll go ahead and select that. And now we'll say done. Now that I have the Wi Fi antenna plugged in, I can verify that the camera is online without the LAN cable and make sure that it's working. CamMech is a camera hub that uses AI to process video data with continuous recording. It provides video history and detailed intelligent alerts to your phone, tablet, computer, or even Alexa devices. And since this is an on diff compatible camera, the CamMech app will detect the camera immediately. So now our camera is live on CamMech. So now I'm going to install the camera here and I went ahead and attached it to a board first. Just to make it a little bit easier to install, I have to kind of get underneath this eave and this will make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to position it right here, right kind of right in the middle. Party. And for power, we're going to use this outdoor rated 12 volt power supply. I'm going to run it through the pathways and to the camera. So now we can go into the CamEct app and see what's happening inside the coop. And here you see a live video feed of a hen that's inside the roosting box. And of course, CamEct can detect many types of objects, including birds. However, right now we're just having it use motion detection until CamEct can learn how to recognize birds from very close range that we have the camera set to right now. But you can look at the history of those motion alerts here and see which chickens entered into the roosting box and what the net result was, if they laid an egg and what type of egg it was, which is super useful. CamEct is also integrated with Alexa, which makes it easy to check in on the live video feeds. Alexa, start CamEct home. Welcome. You can say view camera backyard or play person alerts. View camera chicken coop. And this just makes it a lot easier to see what's happening inside the chicken coop. So now with the camera installed and Kemet analyzing what's happening inside the nesting box, we're getting closer to a fully automated backyard chicken coop. Kemet now gives us live video feeds, video history, and alerts for motion activity to our phones, computers, and tablets, and even Amazon Alexa devices. And as we give feedback to Kemet, it learns our preferences and we would ultimately be able to detect birds even at this close range. And if we added a camera to the outside of the coop, we could get alerts specifically for things like dangerous animals like raccoons or, or foxes. But for now, it eliminates the guessing of what's happening inside the nesting box and provides us with alerts of the activity. 
So we hope you enjoyed it and we'd love to hear your feedback. If you'd like to see more videos or learn about Connect, you can visit us at connect.com.